Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, let us go through some of the questions around WebDriver protocol limitations we have studied in our previous video. So the very first question, which of the following statement is incorrect regarding limitations of using the WebDriver protocol for browser automation? Now remember, when you get these kind of questions incorrect, that means you need to be very careful or not true. Okay. Sometimes you miss out this is incorrect. You think it is correct. You have to pick. So be very careful about these kind of questions. Option A, selectors for elements inside iframes are not validated. Recommending the avoidance of iframes in automation projects. Is this statement true or false? B, web driver protocol always initiates a new browser session disregarding the saved cookies or browser data. Is it true or false? Option C, when selectors are not found in a browser with multiple tabs, the execution constantly switches between tabs. Is it right or wrong? Option D, creating automation projects tailored for multiple tabs in a browser is advisable for optimized execution. Do you advise multiple tabs when you want to go for a web driver browser automation? Now tell me which is the right answer out of this. Comment your answer. Okay, A, B, C or D. What is your answer? Now let me reveal the answer. The answer is creating automation projects tailored for multiple tabs in a browser is advisable for optimized execution. This is a wrong option. Rest A, B, C are correct options. You can find this answer in this particular paragraph, Visual Automation Web Driver. If you go through this paragraph, you will get your answer. Now let's move on to our second question. In headless automation, using the web driver protocol, which properties must be configured for activities that use hardware events like click or type into? Now, which property you must configure? I have shown that in the previous video. Here are your options. Option A, ensure the visible property is set to true. Configure the use hardware events property to on. Set the simulate click simulate type simulate hover properties or the send window dismissive property. So you have to set or you have to turn it on. D, enable the headless mode property for the activities. Do you need to turn on the headless mode? Now pause this video, comment your answer. Now let's test your knowledge, what you have learned from the previous video. Please do comment. Is your answer for the question number two is A, B, C or D? Okay, I hope you have commented your answer. Let me reveal the answer. The answer for this question is C. Set the similar click, similar type, similar to over property or the send windows message property. Very, very important question on this particular paragraph. So thank you for watching. Let's move on to our next topic.